Hi, I'm Peter Monaghan, an Irish contemporary artist. My artistic journey began, I suppose, I was always drawing and painting as a, a, a child and a teenager. And I went to NCAD and when I left NCAD, I worked in graphic design for about 20 years. And after, after that, it was becoming more a business than uh, the creativity was le less and less. So I left graphic design to paint full time around 1999, 2000. Ever since then, I've been painting, but it's been that overused word uh, journey. Each, each year, I sort of, it develops and changes, but essentially the style remains the same. I just describe my work as optical and kinetic. It's about what the eye sees. It's about color, about form. There isn't really a message there as such. Uh, it's just playing to the senses, I suppose. When people see it, they'll enjoy it for its visual interest. Well, the artists that have influenced me, mainly Bridget Riley and Vassarelli, South American artists like uh, Soto. Discovering their work was very, very interesting. My creative process starts with a lot of sort of thinking and reflection, uh, listening to music, but I come up with ideas and then it's committing those ideas to paper. When I come up with an idea, I then work it out on paper. And what I'm doing here is, I'm doing a dowel piece, something like this here. Now, what I have to work out is how many dowels and as, you know, are going into this, into this circle. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to see roughly how many I need on each, on each circle. And when, I, when I've worked that out then, I can be more accurate as regards where I, where I put each, each circle. I've got 18. Now th these are dowels that I've gold leafed in the last, the last couple of weeks. I can adjust these just slightly, but I now know that I've got eight at the start, six, uh, 16 in the middle, and I hope 24 on the outside. So I'm just gonna check that. 24, okay. I have an idea in my head and then I uh, do it on paper. When I finish my initial drawings, it could be a painting like this. So I would stretch large sheets of watercolor paper and paint them, generally warm colors on one side and cool colors on the other. Could be between 12 and 18 large sheets of, of paper. Then I cut them out by hand. What's running through it is that the fact that it's made by hand, it's very important to me that it's a physicality there to it. Well, the best piece of advice I ever received, which is a bit, a bit funny, I went to a, an art class when I was a teenager, young teenager. Her name was Pam Skerritt. I remember one, one day using a, a rubber and a razor to, because we were doing life drawing. I made a mistake and I was rubbing it out. And she said, throw that away, uh, just get rid of that. You don't need that. And I was, I was sort of shocked. But actually, it's an amazing piece of advice because she was saying you don't, you don't make mistakes or if you do, you, you, you incorporate them into your finished piece. And I've, I've sort of held on to that for a long time, for ever, ever since. You know, you can almost apply it to your, to your life. You know?